Hello, good day everyone. So this is again a short tutorial on how to uh, this actually we have a tutorial about stay safe that ph uh, on how to register and install this application in your mobile phones. Now this time this will be on how to register as an admin or to have an admin account. Now this is intended for schools or for institutions or for private uh, let's say private institutions or establishments would like to have this contact tracing app uh, kumbaga installed in their uh, in their respective institutions uh, in coordination uh, with their local government units now this stay safe uh, ph app uh, actually search po natin siya stay safe ph philippines siya po yung Mm, like this. Siya po yung uh, parang register ng government officially. So that was last September. Announcement po to eh. Uh, napin lang po natin yung sa PIA or sa Philippine Information Agency. Philippine Information Agency. Mm -hmm. So, this was posted last September 3. So, sabi dito, uh, government launches Game Changers Stay Safe that PH as official COVID-19 contact tracing app. So, it was announced no less than the spokesperson of the, or the presidential spokesperson, Secretary Harry Roque, uh, together with the DOH and the National Interagency Task Force announcing the use of uh, official contact tracing app of the Philippines, which is yeah, stay safe that ph. So now if you're a private establishment or a government institution would like to use this application again with coordination of their own respective local government units. Ganito po yung gagawin natin para po magkaroon tayo nito uh, sa ating mga institutions or sa ating mga gates. Uh, I will make an example yung isang school namin dito uh, with the permission again of my father. <laughs> yung sa school niya parang gawin natin example so dito po sa stay safe ph this is the landing page dito po tayo nagpapa-register if we are creating an account or if we are going to log in dyan po but down po dyan sa landing page na yan ay uh, sabi dito for companies and organizations uh, protect your employees and get full access ganyan so if you have the admin access already dito ka na po mag log in but if you would like to create an account uh, for your uh, for your institution, either private or government institution, jan ka po sa request access. Click po natin yan, request access. So, you're going to fill up po this form here. Okay. Fill up lang po natin yan. So, let's like this. The name of agency, like 12-1971 uh, Libagong Elementary School. Cool. Complete address is in Barangay Libagong Villaba Leyte. So, parang ganito lang din po yung gagawin ninyo. Villaba Leyte. Ah, kung hindi naman po pala kayo government agency, meron dyan as an organization, uh, like private institutions or a local government unit. So, pwede po siyang gamitin mismo na isang municipality, isang city, or isang province. Depende po din sa mga sa inyong local interagency task force or as a company din rin dyan, so but for this example since this is a school so that's a government agency then branch spin lang natin that's Villaba North as the district then representative's name then the position then the contact number kasi magpapadala po yan ng activation code tsaka sa valid email and then your password so, hindi ko lang po ito ipapakita yung part na to tapos skip natin to ng konti, basta fill up nyo lang yan, then I agree or read first the terms and conditions, then importante po yung I'm not a robot, then request access. So, skip po natin to ng konti, hindi ko lang po siya re-record, pause ko lang po ito. So, after po nating mag-request access po kanina, di ba, finil up po natin yung form, tapos after nating ma-fill up yun, sabi request access, ay sabi niya, please check the email po yung nilagay po natin sa email. So, sample po dito, 
Ito na po, uh, naglagay na po siya or nag-send na po siya ng uh, email. Okay, official email. Oops, teka. Nag-send po ng email si Stay Safe. Yan, no? So, if we click that Stay Safe na email dyan, nahanap ko yung, yan, sabi lang niya, uh, activate your account. So, activate my Stay Safe account. Activate lang po sa email po na nilagay ninyo kanina sa form. So, sabi niya, account activated. You may now log in. Redirecting to login page. So, sa login page po, uh, tatype niyo na po yung email na na-register niyo kanina. Tapos, pati na rin po yung password na nilagay din po ninyo. So, ipopost ko lang po muna for security concerns. Then, balik po natin kung ano yung mangyayari kapag nag-login po tayo dyan. Then, login as admin. So, ayan. Ayan, no? So, yan na po yung after po nating mag-login dyan. Yan na po yung makikita natin. So, this is the name of the agency. Then, the branch or district. Tapos, makikita po ninyo like this. Uh, meron po siyang QR dito. That is what we call the organization QR. So, yan po yung ipiprint po ninyo at ilalagay po ninyo dun sa, sa gate po ng inyong mga organizations or sa inyong mga institutions. Tapos, um, dito po muna tayo sa view more details after this. View more details po, kailangan nyo pong maglagay ng logo dyan. So, edit nyo lang po yan. Sample like this. So, click ka lang po ng logo. At choose a local file po para po sa logo ninyo. Okay, tapos save lang po. But for now, just leave it there. So, balik ka lang po dun sa digital logbook. Now, again, ito po yung QR po. Uh, bawat institutions po, iba-iba po yung QR. So, print nyo lang po yan. Tapos, uh, like this po. Uh, example, nasa gate po yan ng school ninyo. Example lang nga. Tapos, di ba, dun sa isang, uh, isang tutorial natin is on how to register and, uh, shall we say, install of stay safe PH in your mobile phones. So, dapat po yung mga employees natin or mga clients din natin, meron silang uh, smartphones na naka-install po si stay safe PH. Now, dun po sa stay safe PH nila na application, meron po dun sa baba, uh, discuss ko rin po siya sa isang video, meron po dun sa may pinakababa po na navigation, tsaka sa uh, uh, pinaka rightmost part, meron po dun scan QR. Sa so, scan QR po, sa purpose po niya doon, meron siyang, uh, pwede siyang employee, visitor, or customer. So, for example, ako, visitor po ako doon. Siselect ko yung visitor doon sa purpose. Tapos, ako yung client niya, i-scan ko lang po, ng, sa, gamit po yung phone ko, yung organization QR na matatagpuan sa mga institutions po natin. So, like this, I will scan the QR. Charan, and I will confirm my visit at mag appear po siya dapat sa logbook ng institutions na yan. Like that. So, nag appear po siya ngayon na I am in the institution at 6.53pm. Ngayon po yan. At makikita rin po yan ng ibang ay yung ng, uh, ng interagency task force yung data na to. At mag alarm po yan kung kung meron po siyang data dyan, nakapangalan, or, or nasa database po ng mga uh, either probable, suspected, or confirmed cases ng Department of Health. Okay? Now, uh, may mga cases po tayo na nag-alarm po yan, baka po kasi kapangalan lang po uh, ng nasa database. So, kailangan nyo po kapag may nag-alarm po dyan, yung kailangan lang po ninyong gawin is uh, to inform directly the, uh, the local IETF Tapos, check, verify if na-contact trace ba yung taong yan or hindi. Kasi kapag uh, nag-alarm po yan, sasabihin po ng status na not allowed to enter. So, yan po yung uh, babantayan din po natin. So, if not allowed to enter, again, uh, consult the local IETF. Kung hindi naman siya uh, na-contact trace or something, so, baka kapangalan lang po yun. So, you, you should let the person enter to your establishment. If not, uh, Eh, eh, kung talagang nandun talaga siya na contact trace, so you have, I think, the right to 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 not allow the person to enter the establishment uh, or advise the person to undergo 
uh, home quar- undergo quarantine. So, yun lang po. Uh, nasa dates po yan. Makikita po yung dates reports every day. So, you can also export this to an Excel file. May entry points din po yan. May mga summaries like this every day. So, yan. Baka po magamit po ng mga schools ninyo. Uh, yung yung da, parang anong tawag nito yung isa ko lang nakikita pong problem hindi siya problem but challenge po sa app na to is kailangan po ng app na to na yung mga clients ninyo ay may smartphones kasi kung wala eh hindi sila makakaskan ng QR na to di ba tapos ano pa ba if or kung wala naman silang smartphones gamitin na lang po niyo yung talagang sulat-sulat di ba may sulat naman to na form yung parang uh, health something yung may mga checklist Now, another one is kailangan ng client ninyo or, or visitors or employee ng mobile data kasi kailangan po to ng internet. So, every time po na magsascan, kailangan po niya ng internet. So, yung isang isang possible po na gawin is uh, merong free na internet dun sa may area na yun kung saan po sila mag, uh, magsascan or yun nga, kailangan po nila ng mobile data. Uh, para po makapag-scan. So, that's it. I hope po makatulong po sa lahat ito uh, para po din makatulong din tayo sa government uh, for the COVID-19 response. So, magandang uh, araw po sa ating lahat at ingat po. Uh, stay safe everyone. Stay safe, PH. Thank you.